take my mask off now to read. I'm Ros Brackenbury and this is a poem called Love in the Time of Coronavirus, which now seems to be called COVID-19, so we'll update that. In sickness and in health, it always seemed so archaic. Yet now we guard each other, married, masked against intrusion, protectors of each other's solitude, as Rilke said, and safety, and even life. We lie at night, twinned in a shared anxiety, speak words of comfort, sleep again. Your hand again becomes the world. Love is a withholding, a new promise, to keep us only unto each other. I love you, so I will protect you from all others a new covenant. In our dreams the old life stirs, the liquid mix of sex, scent of a sudden stranger's body, a child in tears, the kneaded, heartfelt hand clasp of the old. This touching we've le learned over centuries, since fires first lit against darkness, magic of embrace, our deepest consolation, the way we were. so I can read. My name is Patty Patton Tiffany and uh, it's a beautiful evening and we are lucky to be here to read poetry. Where we are not welcome. Now that Mars has given its 5,000 year edict, we are not welcome there. We can only hope for other refuge islands elsewhere. Would we be welcome in the Arctic where we drill and kill? Would we be welcome in the reefs where all is dead already? Would we be welcome on Pluto downgraded from planet to icy mass? Probably not, but there are questions still to be answered. Would Putin welcome our votes in his already full boxes? Would the Cherokees welcome us to join them on the Trail of Tears? Would we be welcome to join our black brothers on their 400-year journey of heartbreak? Or will we vote and march and move and stand against the big guns who hate us and will kill us? even in a peaceful march. They are more afraid of losing profit than the loss of one child in any high school, grade school, or place where they are not. Even though we are the old people, they fear us. We did much for women, gays, blacks, and more. We did hard work. Watching our boys die for no reason in Vietnam, holding our breath and sick at the sight of our first TV war. We have many stories to tell. But now we are at an end of action. We can vote, but it falls to the Z's and their zeal and skill to change what we could not. Now we must dream that their passion is bigger than ours, that it will sustain us, make humans welcome on our own planet, and perhaps one distant stay, make us welcome on Mars. Yeah, great, love it. Thank you. Ellen Somerset Meese, solitary <laughs> lovers. There will be times in your life when you be with no love, do not then lose your feeling of love for love, for it is then the period of danger, and you may not emerge on the other side. But remain for a while a solitary lover, and a sentinel of love in your life. Think of all the great rainbows over all the world's oceans, which nobody has seen but God. Can you see them showing you that you're not alone, only apart for a while? And while you're apart, 
think of all those secret beauties which you alone can learn about yourself. Remember when you couldn't even afford milk but still gave back the extra change you got at the grocery store? And how you wanted to talk to your brother in the middle of the night just to say he makes you glad but hung up after four rings because you didn't want to wake him? Remember how you let someone go ahead of you for almost no reason except you just like people. Above all, keep your heart open while apart. Do not fear those who fear to come inside. Open your door. Do not expect those outside to try the lock. Wait not for their knock. For you are only solitary, not alone. So many of us are like you.